Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain how to solve problem C, mixing water, from the educational code for this round 88, rated for division 2. In this problem, we are given two infinite sources of water and a sequence of moves, and we need to find the closest average temperature to the temperature T we can get, assuming we follow some of the steps in the sequence given. This problem can be solved using something like brute force, since the temperatures are quite big and uh, we may end up using many moves. So we need to think of something different. The first observation one can get is that for each sequence of two moves, the same thing always happens. As in, after a hot water cup, we are going to have a cold water cup and then one hot water cup and so on. So after each step, which has an even number, like 2, 4, 6, and so on, the average is going to be the same. Now we are left with checking the state with odd numbers. Now I'm going to move to the sketchpad to explain some cases based on the sample test cases, since this time the sample test cases were good. I'm going to write here the sample test cases, and then I'm going to analyze each of them. Now, let's analyze the first sample. As you can see, 20 is the temperature we need to achieve. If we take the average between the hot temperature and the cold temperature, so 30 plus 10, and we divide it by 2, we get exactly 20. So it's always optimal to end in an even number of steps. So here is the first case, case 1, hot plus C divided by 2, is smaller or equal than t. In this case, the answer is 2. Now, let's look at the third sample. The temperature for the hot uh, up is equal to the temperature for the average. So, we should always stop after the first turn. The second case, therefore, if h is equal to t, the answer is 1. This case can also be included in the third case, but in my solution I have de dealt with it separately because I had different approaches while solving this problem. And until I found the right approach, I had to simplify as much as possible. Now we are left with the third case, the case which should solve this sample. Now I'm going to explain how we can approach such a case and why does it work? Now let's analyze how the average is changing for the first, let's say, few moves. So after the first move, average is going to be 4 to 1 because we only have one uh, uh, cup of water. Then at the second step, the average is going to be 41 plus 15, which is 56 divided by 2, which is 28. Let's bear in mind that uh, for each number, which is even, this value is going to be the same. So we only have to deal with the steps with one number. For the third step, the average is going to be 56 plus 41, which is 97, divided by 3. So I'm going to write here 97 divided by 3. As you can see, this average is smaller than the average after the first step. And this will be true for each subsequent step, because as we add more integers in our uh, barrel, the value of which we can increase or decrease the average is going to decrease. So the influence to our average is going to be something like this. And until we, at some step, get towards zero, but we'll never get zero. It's something like a limit in calculus. Now, what can we do? We know that this function, which represents the growth of the average compared to the previous step, is going to be always decreasing. Now, after dealing with the cases I mentioned earlier for the first and the third sample, all we are left to do is to binary search the point where 
the average is going to be as close as possible to the t, the value we need to get as close as possible to. Since I said we only care about the averages at an odd position, in our binary search we are always going to consider only the odd positions by just multiplying the middle value by 2 and adding 1. Without further introductions, let me show you my source code. As you can see, I managed to get accepted and uh, here is how I did it. Firstly, I read the input and I checked the first two cases I have uh, mentioned earlier, which are the easiest. The case where C is equal to A, I didn't realize that C is always going to be between A and B, so I put bigger or equal. Equal would have been enough. And also this case can be added in this case. The second case is where C is smaller than the half, and the answer is going to always be true. And now we are left with the third part. The third part is the hardest. Now all we have to do is to find the point where uh, the average is going to be bigger than C, but the next step is going to have an average smaller than C. Since I said earlier that the average is going to always decrease, we can just use binary search to find this point. An alternative approach may be to use ternary search, but this is an overkill and binary search is easier to write. Now, average value is going to be computed as the sum divided by 2 times mean minus 1. Why 2 times mean minus 1? Because I said we only consider the mid odd number, like 1, 3, 5. So for let's say 7, mid is going to be 4. If we want to consider the case where we added 7 halves into our barrel. Now, this is basically binary searching, the average. And now all we have to do is to compare at first the average with the one obtained by using literally the middle point, a plus b divided by 2. And this is a simple checking where we just check if the absolute value we can get is smaller than the absolute value we have already achieved. And noting the answer as such. This is quite an interesting task involving uh, binary search and math and also quite uh, suitable for the contest you have participated to, which is an educational round. Even I had some troubles with this task, as you can see, I got several wrong answers, but in the end, I managed to get accepted, which is great. If you liked watching this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell button if you want to get notifications about my new videos. Also, you can join the Discord server in the description for more content regarding competitive programming. Until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, good luck, and goodbye.